and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the insane mode. Um, this is uh, one of those, uh, like, oh, I can't remember the name, I'd say it earlier, but I can't remember the name of it. But basically, uh, when you generate this world, it should be like randomly generated every time. Uh, so I'm not going to change, so these are the, uh, the, these are locked right now, but, uh, I'm not gonna unlock them, so they've locked the name, I guess. The yeah, they've locked the game mode and they've locked it to normal difficulty. Uh, they haven't locked the seed, so you can put in any seed you want. Uh, they've locked flat, so you can't. They've locked it so you can't do flat world. You've locked. They've locked it so you can't add starter map or bonus chest. You can show coordinates, you can show days played, you can uh, do recipe and walking fires, bread, TNT explodes, yep, yeah, everything that, and immediate respawn. Everything else is the same. Uh, I'll just turn multiplayer off so nobody joins me while I'm doing the video. And obviously, and there's locked cheats, so you can't activate cheats. Uh, it has its own resource pack and behavior pack. Now you can't add these to a pre-existing world, unfortunately. Um, uh, what are we doing? Uh, so, yeah, that's like the downside of these kind of add-ons. But you can add your, your own add-ons onto these worlds. But let's just take a look at this first and see on this head and see what it does. So, oh, okay, it's dark and I've spawned right next to a building. Looks to be like some sort of destroyed house or something. Uh, welcome to Insane Mode. This is a dyna yeah, dynamic world, that's what it's called. Which means every new world uh, creation there is a brand new seed. Yeah. Journey through an endless world uh, scattered uh, with crumbling ruins, uh, ruins. Explore these ancient structures to uncover hidden treasures stashed away in chests. But to be aware, beware, as uh, you navigate the uh, dark and uh, ominous surroundings, be prepared to defend yourself against uh, menacing creatures lurking in the shadows. Uh, Creator preferred settings, music volume 50, and that's it. So they have social media if you want to go check them out. Uh, thank you for purchasing Insane Mode. If you like it, please rate it. And if you don't like it, keep your opinions to yourself. So I guess we'll just like, I'll start off by collecting a bit of wood. I can make a crafting table and a pickaxe and I can get some cobblestone and make a stone sword. And all this is mossy cobble, which is not really helpful. You can make mossy cobble into uh, stone swords or pickaxes or anything. So it looks like this world is like in eternal uh, darkness. It's got a lot of structures around. At me. Oh, the pigs are evil. The dogs are evil. Oh, meow. Run away. Here we go. All right, so that's just. I can't see anything. All right, let's make some planks and make a crafting table and make some sticks. Oh, there we go. Now I can make a wooden pickaxe. So I can mine down. Now I can make a, well actually, let me get one more. Get one more then I'll make a stone. Pickaxe, I cannot see anything. Right, there we go, I'll make a stone pickaxe. I don't think they'll jump down here because it's too deep. Then I'll make a stone sword. Uh, let's make some more sticks. 
stone sword. Uh, and let's make a stone axe. Two, five. All right. I should be able to kill any like random passive, what well, usually passive mob that wants to kill me. So I suppose, uh, so by the looks of it, and um, well, from the name, I assume that this is supposed to be like, you know, super hard. Uh, like from the name, got I get that from like the name of like insane mode, like schemes. Like it. it would be nice if this. Uh, told me more about the add-on. Or the uh, dynamic world, sorry. Oh, and it's getting dark already. And there's a sheep attacking me. Oh, wow, I did cheat, did a fair bit of damage to me. With only two hits. Why can I not? There we go. And I'm just gonna put some stuff there. I guess I'll uh, have to wait for night uh, for the night time to pass. Well, actually, isn't night? It's really hard to tell because it is just really dark. Let me make sure I have got my brightness up to max. So it'll be in video settings. Ah, no, my brightness is way down. There we go. Okay, now I can actually see. A little bit, at least. Oh, and it is night time. It would be nice if I could find something that's not a forest. Oh, oh there's a spider nearby somewhere. How much wool did I get from that shit? Only one wool. Oh, there's a creeper. A dead creeper. Oh, and a pumpkin. Neat. It's a lot of I got bad to see. Yes, this is forest anyway. Okay, we're at, I think we're almost out of the forest now. Bit hard to see because I can't really see what's ahead of me. What what is with these like piles of like step mossy stone bricks and stone brick stairs and stone brick walls and I am way going. Oh well, that's just. Yeah, so... Ooh. Yeah, three... Yeah, I'm surprised I've not been attacked by more things. Like, I've had a spider, but I've only been like, attacked by a creeper. Like, it's not really that bad. It's hard to see, though. So what? That's water. Now craft boots. Yeah, well, there was a zombie, but now it's gone to the bottom of the river. There's another zombie somewhere, because I can hear it step-stepping. Another one of 
of these pillar things. I still have no idea what these things are about. Like, why? Oh, zombie. Oh, I dropped a carrot. Hmm. There's... Oh, there's a creeper and a spider. I can't really give spider red eyes because they already have red eyes. Thankfully, it is. Yeah, so currently there's a bug in uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition where you're, where it shows you as a like half heart down lower than it, you should be. I think a village would have been nice. Now we're giving me a bunch of food. Three, two, one. So if there's a skeleton anywhere near me, I'm probably going to die instantly because it shoots me and... Oh! Speak of the devil! Oh! Is it nearly daytime? It's impossible to tell. Oh! I have one heart. That's oh, up. There's a freaky boy. And two zombies. Oh, and a skeleton. Oh, come on. He was, they were new and near me. They should not have been able to hit me from there. Alright, so what I'm going to do, now that I've died, is I'm going to go out and I'm actually going to unlock template world, unlock all settings. I'm going to go in creative. And I'm going to have a fly around the world and see, and I'm looking in the creative menu and see what's changed. Light mode enabled. Yep, right. Time. Actually, let's set it. Time. Noon. It's still so dark. Day. It's so dark, even during the day. That is annoying because it just makes everything harder to see. Oh, yeah, village. Maybe if I was able to see, I would have been able to see. Oh, our villagers are still. Yeah, village is hostile. So, village is now very dangerous. You can be swarmed by villagers. And the iron golem, of course, the iron golem is also hostile. So far, all this really seems to do is, like, make everything hostile towards you and uh, uh, make it eternally dark, which 
Everything being hostile towards you isn't too bad, but making everything eternally dark is... Because it's annoying. No, you can still trade with them. So what if I just... Yeah, block that off so no of the other villagers get me. And I just like... Block you... In... Uh, okay. Alright, so push you there. That there, that there. So I should be able to trade with you. Steal. Yeah. Yeah, you can still trade with them, they're just gonna try and kill you. Alright, why are you not trying to kill me? Hmm. You can still trade with them, it's just much more difficult now because they're going to be trying to kill you uh, uh, while you're trying to trade with them. Does this add uh, anything else? Is this really worth a de bleeding dynamic bloody will? This could have just been an add-on. It does less than it does less than an add-on. Yeah, they've insisted on making it a dynamic world. God damn, this is a scam. Like there is no reason for this to be a dynamic world over being an add-on. I guess we're like. Add-ons that may like maybe maybe you can say oh add-ons uh, emerging when allowed as an add-on because add-ons aren't allowed to modify vanilla things and this is changing the vanilla entities to be hostile. But I think if they can uh, allow it as a uh, uh, as a dynamic world, they can allow it as an add-on. This this literally all this does so far I can tell is make everything hostile towards you and add this shitty fucking. Uh, Darkness shit and some like randomly spawning structures that don't give you a shit because they're all like ruins and shit that Like it does this have anything and it doesn't even spawn properly because it's spawned like inside of this hill Like none of the nothing in here seems to be like really worth the worth Having it be a dynamic world. Okay, here we go. A chest. What's in this chest? Coal and a treasure map. I mean, treasure map's kind of nice, but come on. Coal, leather, armor, wheat. Oh, there's another one here. Coal, leather, tunic, wheat. Uh, knock back one book, gold nuggets, and coal. Oh, that was the one I just opened. Uh, yeah, this is horrible. Hold on. I'm gonna save and quit. Insane mode. Resource pack. Active. Re deactivate. It is required the dependency of another pack that is. Oh, god damn it. So you can't deactivate the texture pack without deactivating the behavior pack, which basically is just like, oh, you get... Which basically just makes it a normal Minecraft world. God damn. I, I can guarantee you that you could deactivate the texture pack and it would make no difference whatsoever, except for like, oh, you can actually see and the mobs don't have red eyes, but it's just like, oh, you'd be able to tell they're hostile by the, attack they're atta by the fact that they are attacking you. Okay, this one has at least some half-decent loot with obsidian and gold. And some bread. If they want like, to change like, the main gameplay so that like, you're, like, 
want to be going to these places to loot them. And they've got a long way to go with the loot because the loot is uh, not really worth coming here for. Like, seriously. Most of these are just ruins that have nothing in them. Uh, this one has a... Okay, why does this one, of all of them, have a diamond fucking chest plate, randomly? And that two diamond leggings, why? Why does this one have be seemingly better loot for no apparent reason? Like, come on, it, there's nothing about this I would say, oh, this has good loot in it, like, come on. Got gold blocks. Okay, this one has a chest. With a golden apple and really nothing else. Because, like, well, Gilded Blackstone is, like, one of the rarest blocks in Minecraft. Because it's... Uh, in vanilla Minecraft, it only uh, spawns naturally in Piglin Bastions. It's not really that useful in a survival setting. So when you mine it... Uh, with, you can't smelt it into gold ingots, so and when you mine it, uh, it breaks into, like, unless you have silk touch, it breaks into gold nuggets. I, when I uh, saw, like, the reviews for this, I thought it was a bit low rated. Because, uh, uh, like, a hard, you know, people are always asking for Minecraft to be harder. But this doesn't make Minecraft harder, this just makes it more annoying. Like, sure, uh, passive mobs now attack you, but unless you're in the village and you're getting swarmed by villagers, that's not really going to affect you, because you can just, like, give them a quick start, because, like, you know, they don't have enough health to really be that much of a threat. Like, with a stone sword, I can easily, like, kill a bunch of, like, sheep and pigs, even if they are hostile. Um, but... Um, there's nothing else really making this difficult. The, like I said, this the darkness just makes it more annoying and difficult because you can't see five feet in front of your face. You're just constantly walking around in the darkness, which again, not difficult, just annoying. That's a vanilla uh, ruined portal. Um, what's in here? Oh, there's a chest right there. Random hearts, the, these loot chests makes no sense. Like, this looks like it would be, have better loot than, than the other one, because it's uh, the other one that had like a diamond chest made on the leggings, because it's bigger when it has more like stuff. You've got hearts of the sea and some TNT. It's just random. There's no rhyme or reason for like which structure has what loot. Like, even if you don't like the vanilla structures, you, you have to give the uh, motion credit that the loot at least makes sense. The end cities have better loot because they're in the end. Uh, uh, in the end. Uh, the abandoned mine shafts have better loot than the villagers uh, because they're down at the, you know, it's an abandoned mine. So, of course, it's going to have some good loot. Um, the, the villagers have better loot than, like, the... Uh, uh, jungle Temple, because the Jungle Temple's not really that impressive. That, it seems to be like one of the more earlier structures. And like the Desert Temple has better loot than the villages, because it's, you know, it's a temple. It was, uh, you know, it's more a more impressive temple, and it's where they, they kept all the good stuff. In a way, like none, like, none of this really makes sense. Like, so it's just like a random house, and then randomly has Golden Apple and Power One, like, who has a house this big with this like much stuff and just only has power one? Fuck. Like the bigger structures that are more difficult should have better loot, and the smaller structures should have worse loot. The smaller structures they can just walk into and like get the chest should have like you know bread and the, the stuff. 
And there shouldn't be any structures I don't have loot. Like, what's the point in a structure if it's just there? Like this one, what's the point in this? Being here. And these, and those are uh, like, cob mossy cobblestone and cobblestone and cobblestone walls and cobblestone stairs. Uh, the little spike things that we saw earlier, like what was the point, what was the point in those? I had zero new crafting recipes or anything, so it's just like... Well, there's other add-ons that make uh, uh, Minecraft more difficult. Why would I go for a dynamic world that's more costly, that barely makes it more difficult? That also has a horrible, this horrible darkness effect. Like this one, this is big, you could have some mob spawners in here. But no, it has rubbish loot. Why, why does this have rubbish loot when the structures out were far less impressive? Had the be much better loot, like diamond armor, like... Come on. This one has like iron and string, it's just, like I said, it just seems completely random. But yeah, there's really not much to this. I was expecting a bit more. At least. Like, realistically, how does this make the game more difficult? Like, like ah. Mobs are usually passive and now hostile. Yeah, so what? Because they're low health, very easy to kill, so, and. Like, they do do a bunch of damage, which I think they realised, ah, oh, they're not. It's not really that more difficult if they attack you, so we, we should give them unrealistic attack damage just so they're at least a little bit threatening so they can do some damage to you before you one-shot them with a stone sword. I'm sure this would be a much, this uh, terrain would be much more impressive if I could actually see it! Uh. Yeah, no, I cannot recommend this, like, at all. It is horrible. Like, just delete. No, yeah, delete the world now. There, There is no reason to download it. Do not waste your money on this. It is terrible. Uh, so, if they want, if they want, like... If they want to improve this, what they need to do is firstly remove the fucking darkness effect. Like you can have like the sun be red and still have it and make it and still make it like more ominous without having to have a constant darkness effect surrounding you because uh, that's not gonna make that's not gonna create a fear or anxiety. That's just gonna create frustration because you can't see five feet in front of your face. Um, then the then they actually need to make it you know add stuff to it that makes it more difficult so like uh make it so that um hostile mobs like at more often spawn with like uh, armor and enchanted equipment like uh you know you know like enchanted bows and enchanted swords for zombies uh, and like give creeper the speed effect so like uh, uh if you're not so that you can you know, like uh, not so that they like zoom everywhere, but so like they're a little bit faster than the player, so it makes it uh, impossible to run away from them. So you have to fight them. Um. And uh, uh, I don't know. They should definitely nerf the uh, passive mobs attack damage because it is un it's a it is unrealistically high. For no apparent reason. Um. Well. Ugh. Uh. Uh. What else could they add? Um. We could add like uh, you know, wooden wood armor, like uh, the uh. I can't. I can't remember where it was 
but it was, but there was a sad on I review that added that with the armor bar, you like uh, uh, stripping logs, you get the bark, and then you make the wood armor out of the bark. Um, also, you know, the bit like add look, well, basically, what they need to do is like get the instructions sorted out. So, organize, so have them in like a tier list. Okay, so the small ones are easy. Medium ones are too difficult, and bigger ones that are difficult. And add some mob spawners in there to spawn mobs so, to make it an actual challenge. And then add the uh, uh, relative loot. So, um, so uh, what you call it? The, you know, uh, the smaller ones have uh, you know, you know, bread, wheat, leather, armor. Um, you know, just like some basic food and basic gear. And the medium ones have like iron ingots and iron and gold and stuff like that. And like the big and really difficult ones that uh, give you like diamond armor and diamonds and stuff. Make, you know, that and that, that would be fun then. Uh, you know, it would uh, introduce new challenges into the game. Um, what else could they add? Um, well, they could add like a... Uh, Entirely new mobs, like uh, um, some new ones I just spawned here and there, like uh, like mob variants, like creepers that can teleport, uh, or um, uh, zombies that uh, when you kill them they split into like two baby zombies or something. You know, you can get creative with it. Um, and what else? Uh. Maybe, um... Oh yeah, bosses, new bosses, like, uh, bosses that you can summon or... Summon, uh, and that give you good loot, and, you know, like, new weapons and armor and stuff, like, there's so much you could do with just, like, the basic idea, premise of making Minecraft more difficult. And there's, there have been, like, hundreds of mods before, on Java Edition before this, that have made Minecraft more difficult, as long as they don't add, like, a, uh a water, you know, a first bar, like, there was also like a, an add-on that, uh, a mod I remember back ages ago that added a uh, sanity meter that would uh, decrease if you were like around hostile mobs and being attacked a lot, uh, and like it would make you like hallucinate and it would give you the, uh, the nausea effect. Uh, if you've got too low sanity, it would make, um, and it would make other players appear as like hostile mobs and like you couldn't see your inventory and it like had a bunch of like crazy effects you could do something like that um there was also like a uh, another add-on that made it so that uh, food had like diminishing returns so if you ate like uh if you were so you couldn't only eat like uh you know golden cows because the golden cows would sort of give you less and less uh, saturation Stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you have any ideas I've not mentioned that for making Minecraft more difficult? Put them down in the comment section below. I have a Discord, which there's a link for that in the, in the description. You can join it. I let people know where I'm going live, and, we, and you can like talk, and we can like discuss things and stuff. But yeah. I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. See you guys in the next one. And bye bye.